Flammarion Correspondences is a theatrical work that is propelled by music. This is sonically driven theatre and we're very wedded to the idea of theatre being driven by words. The idea of wordlessness in theatre is intoxicating. It's really a beautiful prospect for me that a piece of theatre can be propelled by sound and by activity. And we're as attached to those things happening uh, as we are to the idea of a more script-based narrative piece of theatre. What is it concerning? Camille Flammarion was a prominent astronomer at the turn of the 19th, 20th century. He was widely known. And he's a very interesting figure in that at one point, he sort of derails from scientific or purely scientific inquiry into the sort of esoteric sciences. In one moment in his inquiry, he posted an appeal to the wider public in a well-known literary journal, widely read by the middle classes, uh, for their experiences of coincidence. And he had an enormous tide of response, some 6,000 letters sent to him over around 10 years. Land. She had seen he had made all the movements. So Flammarion Correspondences is this wonderfully integrated stage spectacle that is built from music and sound, which is sometimes separate, and staging and projections. The essence of the project is that it's propelled by this notion of coincidence. Coincidence as it relates to this character, Flammarion. The staging is integrated in a way that I've not experienced in that we see, we see the behavior of, a, of the characters orbiting inside an interior environment in a house and we see separate angles of their behavior, of the activities that they get up to and how they interrelate. And these little correspondences of their behavior slowly sort of unfurl and we believe a little bit more of who they are and what they're telling us. Now there's a hazardous element of sound. So on any given night, these lining up of events and descriptions and uh, hallucinations and leaps and bongs will be separate. What is potentially exciting about this is that the notion of coincidence is embedded into the way we're being told about coincidence. 